Yes, hi guys, welcome back again. And today we want let us try to talk about briefly what we call the types of contracts or contracts that we sign in these Gulf countries or we sign in Qatar. Yes, most of us we've looked at what we call contracts in any way, contractual in contracts in any way. But remember, we have two different types of contracts that we sign. We either have what you call a fixed term contract or we have what you call an indefinite or open-ended contract. Yes, in either two situations of the types of the contract, all have its clauses that you, the employer, and the employee, you are supposed to agree on. And those terms of that contract will be already stipulated or written out in the same contract. Yes, when you look at a fixed term contract, a fixed term contract, it is on a fixed duration of time. Let's say, for example, you agree to work with this employer for specifically on to two, only two years. That is what we call a fixed term contract on a given agree to work for one another or you agree to work for that sponsor for a given period of time. However, something that definitely you should know or you should understand that a fixed term contract it has a stated period of probation that you are supposed to serve hope you get me right that if it is going to be a contract of two years the probation period should be clearly stated and if any of you decides to terminate yourself before the agreed finish of the probation period, one party has to compensate the other. Let's say, for example, you're the employee. You sign a contract with this company for two years. However, during your probation period, let's say, for example, the probation period that was mentioned in the contract was six months. Must have a probation period of six months. But however, during the course of the way, you get another bigger opportunity. And you want to terminate the contract. Remember, this contract was a fixed term contract. What do you do? According to the law and according to the clauses of that contract that you did not read thoroughly or you do not understand the clauses of those contracts, you will be have or you will have to compensate your employer for the duration of the time that is remaining for the contract or for the duration of the probation period. Let's say, for example, three months, you have to pay in you to him. That's why you find sometimes some people are not paid their salary because you violated what you call the probation period of the contract. Then we have what you call an indefinite or open-ended contract. Sometimes it can be unlimited contract. It is, it is within, it is unspecified period of time. It is unspecified period of time for the open-ended contract. So meaning that for this unspecified period of time, each of you can try to terminate the contract without even giving clear reasons why you are terminating. You are free to terminate and move on. That is what we call an open-ended. However, something that definitely also should know to both parties or to both types of contracts the notice period must be served, which is quite very important. The notice period is that period that you let your employer know that you are not willing to continue with him or her. And you are, you seek to leave the company to look for another opportunity somewhere. So that notice period should be respected according to the law. Remember what I told you about the notice period? That serving the notice period, it enables the employer to cancel you out of his visa. Then also, after canceling you out of his visa, he will prepare an exit permit. Once you get an exit permit, then according to the law, after visa cancellation, you have a grace period of only 30 days. You can look up a new employer, change up work, or exit the country and return back into the country with a new fresh visa. So that's definitely you should understand. Then for an open-ended contract, still something that you definitely you need to understand is there is a duration of time of the notice period you are supposed to serve with that employer.
depending on how long you have worked with that employer. Let's say one month, serve not period. Either two months, serve not period. Then we have another type of contract, which is normally not common, but common to most people that are working in security guards. I think you'll agree with me. What we call unlimited contract. When we talk about this unlimited contract, yes, it has a duration of five years that you're supposed to serve with that employer. And anything in between that, you cannot go away. You must get the consent of the employer. That is why most of the times you find that security guards are already stuck in the position there. Reason being, they do not realize that it's what you call unlimited contract. For you to determinate this contract, you either has to res you have to resign, get an exit permit, get an exit exit out of the country, return into the country. But most of the time, when it comes it comes to switching one job to another employer, it may be a little bit very tricky, unless you finish up the contract and finish up agri period of the time. So that's where the problem comes from, and that's definitely what a little bit of what you should know on the two contracts. It brings us back to what I said before in one of the videos. As you are signing these contracts, please read carefully, understand, know the type of the contract you are signing. What does it mean to you? Keep a copy of that contract. Keep a copy of that contract to you. It's going to be the only way that's going to bail you out. It will be the only way that's going to bail you out. In case you have problems, in case you have to go to the court, in case you have to lodge a complaint, in case there's bleach, you definitely go to refer to it as the only way, as evidence that binds you between you and the employer. Hope I've tried to share something for you. Thank you so much, by the way. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember, we are looking at the road to 10,000 subscribers and it's all going to be on your way. Thank you so much. See you again.